Hello basketball officials, this is training film number three. We've had a real great season so far, not a lot of issues out there. Just a few plays here that you can discuss as a crew on communication and coverage. Um, a couple mechanics things that we can uh, brush up on as we finish the regular season and head into postseason play. Remember these tapes aren't meant to pick on any one official or team. Um, just some plays that we can use to get better. With that, let's get to the plays. On this first play, we're going to have a foul called right about the head of the Timberwolf. And uh, I want you to notice where the throw-in takes place. Um, if you'll notice that they'll put the ball in play right about the lane line extended at the M on Timberwolves. And if you, if you look at diagram 5-6, which is on page 67 of the Mechanics Manual, um, this discusses throw-in placement. And this has been... A trouble spot for us across the country at all levels of basketball just making sure that we put the ball in play at the proper spot sometimes it can be a real big advantage for a certain team to have a throw in on the baseline versus the sideline or vice versa so just use good communication if you're the calling official like in this case make sure that you tell your partners where the throw in is going to take place so that when you switch or rotate you can uh, make sure that the ball is put in the right place so that no team gets an advantage over another. On this next play, we're going to have a transition play to the basket from C side. Lead's going to have the foul. I think it's a pretty good call for a block. Um, this is a play that the lead can take even though it comes from C side as it's in transition. Just make sure you pregame this play so you know how you're going to handle it. On this next clip, we're going to have a player control foul called by the C right at the top of the paint. I think it's a real nice call. The only thing I would mention is that you should really pregame this type of play and who's going to take it because it's right in that gray area at the top of the paint and we don't want to have a blarge or a double whistle where we have some trouble. Um, just make sure you talk as a crew about how you're going to handle this play if you have it. But overall a real nice call, nice mechanics. On this next clip, we're going to have real good hustle by the lead. He gets in good position to see this play. I think the defender makes a nice block, and we have a nice patient whistle. Just be careful on using the block signal, because if our partner comes up with a whistle, then we would be giving conflicting signals. On this play, we're going to have a steal, and the trail is going to have to really hustle to transition to the new lead. I think he does a great job of getting down in position to see this play. The only thing I would mention is try to stay down with the players until they separate. Nothing happens here, but just in case uh, it does in a, a future play. On this last play, we're going to have a made layup, and on the ensuing throw-in, the offensive team throws the ball out of bounds on the sideline. Fairly unusual play. The crew handles it well. Real good communication um, to indicate that the new throw-in is going to be on the baseline since it wasn't legally touched on the floor. Um, nice job by the crew handling this play. That will do it for this year's training films. Hopefully these plays were helpful as you went through the season. You don't have to agree with the interpretations that were provided, but hopefully they stimulated some conversations with your crew on how to cover certain plays in certain situations. Good luck with the postseason, and good luck this offseason. We'll talk to you soon.